Hello, I'm Kate and welcome along to this video. I hope you're okay and sending lots of love to you. So this is a Poundland haul. It's a really big Poundland haul. I've been a couple of times over the Easter holidays and I've got loads of different things to show you. So all kinds, it's quite a varied Poundland haul. So I've got some home decor things. I've got toiletries, I've got cleaning items cleaning items you know what I mean like cleaning stuff and yeah food um some makeup as well so loads of different things so it's going to be a good pound land haul but before I get into it um I'm going to do my mug of the day which is just here I've been using this um this morning it's so pretty so I got this in a charity shop a few weeks ago and I think did I do a charity shop haul last week I did yeah I think I showed it last week actually it's east of India and it's a mug obviously and it's a different shape so it's kind of it kind of goes inwards normally mugs go the other way don't they um i really like this one it tends to keep the drinks quite hot as well and i've been using it recently i think it's so cute and it's kind of sort of dimpled a bit if you can see which i really like i think it's such a nice um such a nice mug so this was yeah from a charity shop it was only one pound fifty and it says on the front in a world where you can be anything be yourself with a little b so that's my mug of the day. So I'll start off with the food um, and then I will get on to everything else. So I've got some Bombay mix. I do love a bit of Bombay mix. I thought when people come over, you can just chuck it in a bowl. And this tends to last a bit longer, doesn't it, than crisps. Bombay mix, I think is, there's a lot more in here. There's 400 grams. I've had Bombay mix for ages, actually. My mum used to love Bombay mix. She'd always buy it. So we haven't had it for a while. So I thought it'd be great when people come over, chuck it in a bowl, last ages, 400 grams for a pound, so it's really good value for money. I think it looks really nice as well, quite a nice, um, quite a nice packaging. And it says on here, there's a little, there's a little joke, a squirrel, it says, what do you get if you cross an elephant with a squirrel? And it says, uh, an animal that remembers where it buried its nuts. <laughs> a little joke. You get a lovely joke, it's good value for money. So they look great, that was a pound from Bay Mix. And then I got these for our friend who loves beer and I thought he's gonna love these so we got these for him there were 75p pretzels um salted pretzels and they're beer shaped so if you know someone that loves beer that is a good little a little silly daft gift to go here you go so he's gonna love them I think beer shaped pretzels again would be great at a little party um how many grams 150 grams of beer shaped salty pretzels and got those. They had some really nice um, chocolate pretzels that look great, but I think they were quite expensive and we've got quite a lot of chocolate in the house because of Easter. Toby got loads of um, Easter chocolates. I'm trying not to eat his Easter chocolates. I didn't want to get anything else chocolatey because we've already got quite a lot. And then Toby chose these. We went to Poundland like the start of the Easter holidays and he wanted some of these for his um, packed lunches and stuff. So they're a pound. Um, I have bought these loads in the past actually they're really nice they're kind of like little cake things you get 10 so they're perfect for um full pack lunches or just pack lunches in general and they're individually wrapped you probably know this already but they're really nice simple little things and brilliant for a pound because they're only 10 p each aren't they shove them shove them down there got some crisps as well i was trying to find the crisps i did this last time that were just a pound because most are two for three pounds in um, Poundland. So these ones, these Seabrook crisps are all a pound. So I've tried the Worcester sauce ones and they were saucy. I like Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce like crisps and, and flavours, like Worcester saucy flavours, but they were really like, oh, sharp. So I just got some plain um, sea salted crisps. So Toby will have these in his pack lunches next week or like he'll probably have some uh, the weekend. This is boring. Anyway, it was a pound for five bags and yeah, they're really nice. I think they're really good quality crisps. But they are, they were the only ones I could see that were, were a pound for five or six bags. So I got one of them. I also got some cheese and onion, but they've already been eaten. We had people over and they were all eaten with some lunch the other day. Um, then I got some of these. I think these were, I think they were two for two pounds. I'm pretty sure, which is really good because if you try and find like yogurt coated banana things or yogurt coated raisins they're quite expensive so i think like tesco they're about two pounds a packet so for a pound each it's really good 150 grams toby really wanted these um banana chip ones so i hope like they're a bit too banana chips when they're dried a bit too um crunchy for me i feel like they're gonna break my teeth but he really wanted them so i thought well, he can try them so i got and i got one of those and then one um yogurt coated peanuts so a packet of these which they're actually really good price for a pound each 
if I've got that correctly. I think I have. 150 grams. Is that an each? Yep. So a pound each for those are Whitworths as well, which is a good make, isn't it? For like dried fruit and stuff. And then I also got these. These are two for a pound, which um, is actually really good. Two for a pound? No, two for two pounds, which is really good because, um, yeah, like I said, you, these are a lot more expensive on my tesco -y online shop thing. So I, I picked up quite a lot, actually. So the Sunny Dunked Yogurt Coated Raisins. Toby thinks these are brilliant. Like, he loves them, so he wanted them for his pat lunch. So we've actually got four of them. So we stocked up on these. And there's, yeah, five bags, 20 grams per bag. So there's 100 grams. And they go off in January next year. So they've got a long, oh, shelf life. <laughs> so I got four of those Sunny Dunked Raisins. And I'm nearly at the end of the food section i got some of these um cereal not cereal bars are they like bars mint and caramel bars i normally get the what are they call the alpen lights or the skinny bars but i saw these and the alpen light ones just for some reason i think i've been getting bad batches because they're so hard the alpen light bars sometimes you feel like they're gonna break your teeth so i've been trying to avoid them um so i thought i would try these they were a pound and they are bliss indulgent layers mint and caramel less than 99 calories so they'll be quite nice and soft i'm not gonna break my teeth like with the um the alpine light bars sometimes they're really nice and soft and sometimes they're just so hard You're like what's happened to, what's happened to these bars they like break your teeth so i don't know if you've You've done that as well, I don't know. Um, got some little croissants, these are just really handy to just grab. They were a pound, seven days, mini croissants with um, with chocolate filling. So they're indiv individually wrapped, aren't they? Actually, I don't think they are. No, they're just quite nice, ready to eat. Good for a little picnic, I suppose, actually, aren't they? So yeah, a packet of those. Just chuck them there. And then I've got some makeup here, actually. I'll show you this first. Got some things here. And this, so I thought this looked really cute. This reminded me of something Mr. Carrington would probably pick up. So it's a Sasson Bell planter. Oh, my straighteners are on. Hang on, I'm back in a second. Did you hear them make a noise? They're like, Rup. let me turn them off and then I'll come back. Stay right there, I've got makeup. Oh, they are. Did you hear them that time? They're beeping at me. Sorry, straighteners. There go, they're off. That's good they beep at you. I don't normally leave them on. Oh. Coming back in. Ah! Oh, there we go. That's good they beep at you because, um, yeah, I need did like a little bit of, of straightening. Right, so back to this planter and then the makeup. Sorry about that. Right, come here, you. Come here, you. Yeah, so I think you and Rud would, would, would really like this, would really like this mini face planter. They had this one and it was £1.50, which I thought was a really good price. And they had a larger one for £2.50. So I think you would probably like both of them actually. Um, I thought I'd grab this one. Um, I might give it away as a gift or I might keep it. Let's have a little look. I just thought I'd get it to show you because I thought for one pound fifty, that's really good. If you've got a little, you know, plant or a succulent, look really lovely. I like the box as well. I was quite drawn to the um, this packaging. So if I open it up, oh, 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 if I can open it up. Should I go through the bottom? That sounds weird. I'm going in through the bottom. Mind out. Oh, here we go. I just want a bit away if you. Oh, it's really cute. Oh, here it is. Look at this little face. Oh, it's like it's going. Oh, that was a one pound fifty. How good is that? That's really sweet. I like the colour as well. And if you turn it this way, it's just a a plain. Well, it's got ears, so you could draw a little face on that, I suppose. That's cute though, isn't it? A little like friend plant pot. Oh, it's like my face. Hang on. Oh no. Hello, welcome to the Poundland Mug of the Day. Poundland Mug of the Day? Hi, hello, Mug of the Day. Uh, planter of the Day. You're very cute, you are. Ooh, permanently like shocked. Ooh, ooh. Should I put you over here? You go well there with Toby. My little Toby when he was younger. That's cute, isn't it? Have I got a. No. I'll have to find you a little plant. Little fella. Thing. Hello, call him Bob. Hello, Bob. Right, so that's Bob. Bob was one pound fifty. Comes in a nice packaging. I'm going to keep him actually. He's cute. And then I've got some makeup, like I just said before. The straighteners beeped at me. So I saw these and thought they were brilliant. Um, I think they were one pound fifty each, and I haven't bought pound on makeup in quite a while. 
So I saw them and thought that, that looks really nice. It's Revolution um, makeup. So £1.50, all the makeup's £1.50 each now. I think it used to be a pound. Well, I know it used to be a pound, but I think it's £1.50. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so it's gone up to £1.50, but for some, depending on what it is, it still can be really good value and better than like a normal price in, you know, a normal shop. So this is called Rainbow Highlighter Makeup Revolution. So I was hoping, oh, is it? I was hoping it was eyeshadow. How do I open it? Down here. I don't know if it is eyeshadow. Let me open it up. What are you? Highlighter. I suppose you could use it for anything, I suppose. But I was thinking that would be eyeshadow. So I like the um, the rainbow. And then inside, oh no, has it got it sticky on? Yeah, hang on. Let me, let me just open this up. It's probably hanged on. Take the still recording. Got loads more to show you as well after this makeup. Those are different things. Um, to the right of me here on my little table. Um, right, oh, there we go. I'll just open it up. There we are, oh, that's so pretty. Look at the colours. That is just lovely, isn't it? So it just says highlighter, but I guess you can use it for anything. You must be able to like eyeshadow and I'll just shove a bit on there so I'm not, not the best at doing my makeup, but there we go. How does that look? bodged on that's really quite nice isn't it i love the um the different colors so for one pound fifty i thought that was really good value and i just really like the look of it so i got that and then i saw this little um thing and that was also one pound fifty and this is it says flawless foils so it contains flawless foil metallic eyeshadow and intensifying primer i'll just take it out of its little bag I don't know if anyone remembers when I first started doing YouTube and I did Poundland hauls every Friday. That's crazy, isn't it? So I just loved Poundland. I think these have so much more. They must have had a lot in at the time. Like every week they must have had new things. And I used to, I found so much makeup, some amazing makeup. Um, but I just used to buy, yeah, I used to buy loads of makeup from Poundland. So it's nice to just get a couple of bits, um, just things I think, oh, actually, I really like the look of that. And then inside here, I've got this lovely eyeshadow. I really like that colour. I'll open it up in a second and I've got some primer but there's not a lot in there so I'm not sure what happened there's like a titchy bit at the bottom intensifying primer or maybe you just need a tiny bit I don't really know I'll have a little google after I think I don't know it's quite watery too so if you've used this before let me know I'll just put it in there for now they'll put it back in its um little box is there another back uh no maybe I'll just have to yeah I'll google it if not so that's the primer. This is the eyeshadow. It's called Conflict, and I really like um, I really like that colour. It's quite oh, it's creamy. Oh, is that why you need the primer? Oh, that's really nice. Um, that's a nice colour. That'd be lovely, like autumn autumn colours. That's really nice, actually. I like that. That'd be quite nice if I had a bit of um, if I did my fake tan, so I had a bit of a glow, and I think that would look quite. Um, quite nice actually so I like that and then this is my final bit of makeup to show you so it's just the makeup gallery so Poundland's make hide and chic multi-use concealer I think this was a pound I'm pretty sure a lot of their makeup is a pound I hope so anyway or oh, just squeeze loads out um, and I got the pale colour um, what did I get what's this called Ruby got oh I don't know I don't know what it's called actually but there was a few different shades so I got that one um, and it feels quite nice. I've just put a bit on top of, <laughs> I'm making a mess of my hands on top of the eyeshadow. That looks nice though. It looks, um, that's really sort of powdery. I don't know if you can see it there. It's gone like matte, it's gone quite matte. Hide and chic, that feels really nice. I'll just try and do another bit there. Quite like that. It goes on really, um, that's really fine. Yeah, I like the feel of that rather than, you know, some concealers go on and they're a bit thick and they can sort of block your pores, if that makes sense. But this one feels really light and I can't really see it. I don't know. I really like that. I've been looking for a good um, 
concealer so that's a pound and i noticed this the other day in poundland they had um, a new range so it's called flower days and they had this is a brush and they had all kinds of different things some hair bands um they had like headband thing and these little ones i think looked really cute so a few different things um some really pretty summery flowery hair accessories so i got a couple of bits from that range so this is flower days this is a little hairbrush so i thought this would be perfect to just chuck in a handbag um you could take this if you're off you know you don't want to take too much if you're off on holiday or something and you just have only hand luggage or if you're going away for a weekend or for a night it'll save you some space and it's very cute and it's got a mirror as well so you've got a mirror and a hairbrush which is it's brilliant that's all you need really isn't it a bit of makeup mirror and a hairbrush and that does feel really nice i've just brushed my hair a little bit and it doesn't feel very um snaggy so i really like that little brush i like the color and i think the design is really pretty and simple so I think that's really cute. I like that. A great little, a great little invention. So perfect. It's really small, so kind of size of your palm. So that's a great space saver as well. And these were very sweet. They had some really cute hair bands, but I have quite a few of them. But I thought these would be quite handy and pretty and lovely sort of spring colours. So little hair bands. Um, pink, there's like an ivory or a cream, blue, yellow, and kind of a grey lilac, I think. So really cute. Um set of hair bands there's five of them five pack bow 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 <laughs> bow thank you very much um elastics as i'm like elvis then so really cute little hair bands with little bows on them little bows on them and then over here just got some cleaning bits and bobs so some scourers finger grip scourers they were a pound for eight i got some of this room and fabric freshener so this is mango punch fabulosa cleaning um product thing 350 millilitres and it says eliminates odors that's quite good to freshen up for you know to make it smell nice so a little spray bottle of that i think that was a pound as well and then i have bought these before laundry capsules fresh blooms these are three pounds fifty we've used these loads recently and they're actually really good so it's in rituals fresh blooms there's 22 um little capsules in here i don't know why i did that like that's they're about that big aren't they that's what they look like and i got some hand wash i got two of these i really like this um product actually it's baileys of bond street and i've bought this previously online i think like tesco my tesco delivery when they've had it on offer and it's really nice actually so they were a pound each and i thought i'd get a couple of them and i think they look quite posh as well like in your by your sink and in your bathroom so you know your bathroom sink so i've got a couple of them this one is the rose and raspberry um, 335 millilitres and was there anything on the bottom on the back it's cussons that's the make so i remember that from my, my dad used to use the cussons was it shampoo no, like soap or something when, it was, when, when i was younger i remember that brand so i got this one um and i also got a orange blossom and honey so a pound each which is which is quite good isn't it because i think they look really um they look lovely let's have a little sniff that's really nice really nice and fresh i love that scent and the rose and raspberry let's have a little whiff there you go what do you think oh it's so nice i actually think i prefer the honey one i think that's like i thought it'd be the other way around but the orange blossom one's really nice so i got those two toby wanted some he loves coconut scent so he wanted some coconut shampoo and conditioner so he wanted some of this and these are a pound each alberto balsam coconut lychee shampoo and he got the conditioner as well so yeah he really likes that i think it's oh 350 milliliters so that's quite good isn't it for a pound quite a good um quite a good amount for a pound so he really likes those coconut scents i've got some cotton pads to do nail varnish and i'm i you know take eye makeup off and stuff so these were a pound for these cotton pads um 100 cotton soft and absorbent and then i got some face wipes as well so these were the only ones i could see actually they didn't have very many so these were a pound you only get 14 in here so like a travel size they're quite small the biodegradable uh, nivea cleansing wipes face and eyes removes even waterproof makeup good for dry skin so i thought i would um i'd grab those used to get like 25 for or 20 wipes for a pound or one pound 50 but these are the only ones i could see so i need to get some more but i thought i would try them they're good like travel size and then my last few things to show you i'll just grab them i got some of these citronella candles they were a pound a packet 
Uh, so there's 18 in there, citronella tea lights. So they're great for when you're outdoors and you know, you just need something to keep the bugs away. So two packets of them, pound each. They had all their like gardening stuff. They're bringing out all the new gardening stuff when I was last there. So that'd be quite exciting. I'll go back again and see, see what they have. I also picked up some fire lighters. So these are eco-friendly fire lighters. There's 64 in here. These are £1.50. So they've gone up by 50p, but they are still really good in comparison with other like fire lighters. So these are great for, you know, for lighting the fire in your house if you've got a log burner or outside you know like outdoor if you have a little uh, fire pit or a, a barbecue or something so they're quite good for that aren't they um so 64 we've got two packets of those so one pound 50 each and we're still using our log burners and uh because our log burner sorry because it's still quite cold in our house my house is always cold and i also grabbed two packets of seed these were a pound each or packets of packet of seeds, I should say. Six in one seed collection. So you've got all different flowers on there. So hopefully I can just chuck them down. It says there's over a thousand seeds. So from March to November, flowers from March to September. So I'd better hurry up actually and um and plant these or chuck them. Can I just chuck you down? Hopefully I can. I've got I do have quite a few seeds to plant and to throw down so we'll do that in the next couple of days and then my final item in this poundland haul are these felt placemats and these were part of the easter section and um, so obviously easter's come and gone and it was lovely but i just thought these were so pretty anyway i think these are going to look so pretty on an outdoor table on a little tablescape so i thought i would get them just thought i'd get four so i think they're a pound each for two placemats so really good isn't it really good value and they're gonna look so pretty on a little, on an outdoor table. So I thought they have a lovely little scallop detail. So little felt place mats, love those, really cute. So that is everything in my Poundland haul. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like and make sure you subscribe as well. And come over to Instagram, I'm Kate McCabe on Instagram. And I've got a house account called Kate's Georgian Home, which I'll link below in case you want to come say hi on there. And I'll also link my videos that I've filmed recently. So last week was a charity shop haul. So I found loads of lovely bargains. And also this dress was from, I think it's Dorothy Perkins. And it's really nice. It's got like funny arms, but I really like them. So I'm wearing this today and it feels, um, yeah, it's really nice. And I like the, the pattern. So I'll link that below uh, last week's video. And before that, I think I've got, oh, come, come shopping with me to North Norfolk. So go around all the charity shops. Um, so that was really nice. And then before that is a car boot sale haul. So no car boot sale vlog. So I'll link those below in the description box as well. So check them out if you haven't watched them. And then next week, I'm probably going to do a car boot sale haul because I've gone to a couple of car boot sales over Easter and I've got some bargains to show you. So that'll be here next week at two o'clock. But have a lovely weekend. Take care. Oh, let me know your favourite item as well. So my favourite item got a few actually really nice thing so the highlighter eyeshadowy thing my little brush which i think is so cute and i love that little pot i think it's very pretty and these placemats i think they look really cute actually i love those so let me know your favorite item pop it in the comments and i shall speak to you next week have a lovely weekend take care Bye bye